welcome back to my channel and another monthly haul here this is for the month of september now i gotta just preface this right off the bat money is not real on your birthday okay it just doesn't exist and um that is the mindset that i went into the month of september with because my birthday was on september 2nd i turned 30 and i just went i got a little silly with it it was a wild month it was a lot of fun it's not the norm for me although I do have pretty big hauls this is my main hobby after all but you know after this October we're gonna be austere we're gonna be not buying this much in the coming months but you know if you're interested in my haul you saw from the thumbnail I have quite a bit so strap in buckle up I don't know what you have to do do it because we are getting into it and if this is not your first video with me, not your first haul here, you know typically I try to have everything swatched so that I can pop up swatch photos for you guys. That just wasn't the case for September. Um, I was gone for like the first half of it because we went on vacation to Las Vegas. And so then when I got home, um, I had a few packages waiting for me. And then it took me like kind of a week to get back in the swing of things. And it's like... I have so much to swatch specifically for YouTube videos that I just haven't had time to swatch kind of like the miscellaneous stuff. So I will pop up swatches where I have them, but if I don't, I will give you a bottle shot and the polish on a swatch stick at the very least. So to start off this haul, let's talk about August because this is the September haul, Hillary. But I did have a few in that haul that hadn't arrived yet and I just wanted to show you really quick. Um, the first three are ones that I talked about in my ISO Topic Tuesday video. If you didn't see that, I will link it up in the cards here. But Polish She Wrote on Instagram messaged me and was like, I saw that Girly Bits polish you were talking about on, I think it was Mercari or Poshmark. I think it was Mercari. I can't remember. One of those types of websites. And I was like, okay, I have to buy it now because this is one that is, it's impossible to search for because the name of the polish, it's like 80 words long. Like I, I, you can't figure that out. So like, it's hard to search for. And somehow she just found it and it was listed as just like girly bits polish. So I don't know how she found it, but thank you so much because now I have that. And then Hobbit Thumbs over on Instagram messaged me and was like, hey, I have those two fun lacquers you mentioned that uh, were also in that same video, How Deep Is Your Hollow and Hollow Queen. She was like, I don't like them. Do you want them? And I was like, yeah, sure. And so she sent these over, which means that I have now the full trio of these. So that I knocked two off my lemmings was like, in one go, which was really nice. So thanks to everybody who helped me out with that. And then my polished gamers box arrived and I just got two polishes, but then I also got a stamping plate, which I said it somewhere. I'll pop in a picture of the stamping plate. It was a Kirby themed box. And so just really cute Kirby stuff. And I'm excited for this in particular because I'm almost at 2000 and my boyfriend said he'd let me paint his nails on camera. And I think I want to stamp his nails with the Kirby stamping plate because he loves Kirby. And I also got this Danny Vienna, which this one is called Star Travel. And it's a really bright pink with star glitters and um, circle glitters. And they're like bright yellow, just really cute. And then I got this Phoenix one called Forgotten Land. And in the bottle, it just looks like kind of a typical like mossy green, but it's a magnetic. And when you magnetize it, this looks stunning. So I was really excited about that one. So... Let's start out September. On the 2nd, on my actual birthday, Polish Pickup opened up, which to me was a sign that just do whatever I wanted. Um, I did, in fact, try to narrow it down. And I was like showing my boyfriend pictures and I'm like, okay, if you had to choose between these two, which one would you choose? And this, these two, which one would you choose? And he was like, Hillary, just get all of them. And I was like, that's not fiscally responsible, sir. And he was like, so what? And I'm like, you are the worst. And so, so I got all of them. Um, total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I bought 11. I bought 11 polishes from Polish Pickup. They're not even here yet because um, 
One of them was taking a while to get to the Polish pickup warehouse. I'm filming this on the 28th and I did get my tracking this morning. So they're like still within their shipping window. I'm just antsy to get them because I want them. Not because like I'm upset or anything. I just, I just want them. So I will pop up pictures of my bottle shots if I get them in time. If not, like I'll just borrow some swatch pictures from elsewhere if I can. Um, but the first one that I got, I'll just talk you through them real quick because I have my list, is Garden Path Lacquers. You'll join us someday. This one was inspired by Over the Garden Wall and it has like a clear base and it's got like black and orange and like reddish flakies it looks like. Um, it looks really cute, nice for Halloween. I mean, this was the Halloween month, so like everything's gonna be nice for Halloween. I got Cleona Cosmetics Hitchhiking Ghosts, and I kind of picked that one up because it's like their first polish pickup, and I just started ordering from Cleona Cosmetics. They recently started making nail polish. More on that later, you'll see, but this one is kind of like a deeper, like a deeper blue, and it looks like it's got kind of this um, multi-chrome kind of flip to it. It seems like a lot of what Cleona does is multi-chromes. That's what their eyeshadows are. That's what a handful of their polishes are so far. So I'm pretty excited to get this one into my collection. I got Pampered Polishes, My Bugs, My Bugs, My Bugs. I don't like saying that three times. I don't know. I don't like to repeat words a lot. It's like a me thing. But it is a pink kind of crelly nude and it has a little bit of flaky scattered throughout, but it's pretty subtle, but it glows in the dark. And there was just something about a nude nail polish that glows in the dark that really sucked me in. I've never tried pampered polish, but I've been meaning to. And so I thought, what better way than something this interesting to me? So I got that. I got Zombie Claws Ghoulish Guests Welcome. And if you see the picture, you know why I got this. I love a polish with just just solid black flakies in it there's something about it like the stark contrast between the base and the black flakes and this one was just like you gotta have it i have a ton of really brightly colored ones like this but i don't have a gray i don't know if that justifies it but i wanted it so i bought it sweet and sour lacquers i like it when the red water comes out now this one to me is like the showstopper of all of them. It was the one that above all else I had to get my hands on. And it's just like this, this perfect nasty looking green. And it has this like ready orange shimmer running through it. And you know, it doesn't hurt that it was inspired by Salad Fingers, which was like a web short that I was obsessed with as a child, which speaks volumes to why I am the way I am but I had to have it and so I bought it you know that's how this works right I got Rogue Lacquers Jack which is just a purple flaky bomb it's got some like orangey flakies running through there and then the color purpley tone it matches the inspiration like perfectly for me it's inspired by Animal Crossing there's an NPC who comes in every Halloween and you can play kind of like a little Halloween game with him and his name is Jack and he wears like a pumpkin for a head and he's got purple robes so the colors are just on point I grabbed Polish for Days Towards the Light and it has, it says it has a deep purple base, but when I look at the pictures, it leans like almost black and it has these gold metallic iridescent flakies and black flakies and the gold flakies kind of lean that kind of greeny gold, you know? And so it just, it looks really nice together. Very fall, very Halloween, of course. Then I got Phoenix Courage, which is based off of Courage of the Cowardly Dog. It's just a fun purple. It's a reflective glitter. I don't know what came over me. I just wanted it. And, you know, I've been really liking Phoenix. This is going to be my third one from them, but everything so far has been like on point. Third or fourth, I can't actually remember. But yeah, I really like this brand. Um, and the color just really spoke to me. Then I got a by Vanessa Molina, and this one is called Let's Boogie Up. It's a magnetic. It's got just like a wild amount of colors in the pictures. And so I just, I wanted to see it in person. I wanted to see if that's truly what it looks like. And it says it shifts green gold with the multi-chrome pigment that shifts copper, pink, purple, blue. That's like a bajillion colors and I'm really excited to see it. I feel like the Vanessa Molina magnetics that I have, because I have a couple, I believe, they have just some really fun colors. And so I'm excited for that one. 
Then I got Bluebird Lacquer's The Walking Dead. The name killed me on that one because it was supposed to be like, you know, what's scary to you? Obviously, like, student debt, right? Terrifying. Can't wait for January when we got to start paying that again. Um, but this one, it's just like a fun kind of blue turquoisey kind of a color. And it has these like black flakes running through it. This is actually the polish that held up my order because this was like the only one on Polish Pickup's list that hadn't made it to their warehouse yet. If you guys don't know, by the way, if you're ever wondering like, why hasn't my Polish Pickup order shipped yet? They do have a section on their website that you can see what they're waiting on to arrive to the warehouse. So you can check and say like, oh, is something on that list also something I bought? That's why my Polish Pickup hasn't shipped yet. And I like that. I like the transparency and I like to be able to check that and just know, but it's worth it. I'm glad that I'm getting this one because Bluebird is, they just do, all the Bluebirds that I have, I think are like some kind of bluey green variation. I feel like they're just really good at those colors. And then last but not least, I bought the BKL's Ghost or Grandma and like, I would say like 60% I bought this for the inspiration, 40% because I actually like the polish. I mean, I like the polish, but it just, the inspiration really grabbed hold of me because it's based off of like Korean fan death. And I just thought that was like such a wild thing to base your polish on. Um, and I love all of her Korean themed polishes. I try to buy them when I can and when I like the polish itself, but this one is like a very ethereal, it's like a pale, pale green with a really glowy blue shimmer. It's going to be sheer on the nail, but I really think that BKL does sheers well, so I'm always happy to buy them from her. So then after Polish Pickup, that same evening on September 2nd, they were releasing over at Starly a restock of their Planets collection. I got the box on display right over here. You can see on my shelf back there, I was not super like tuned into this collection initially because I've talked about this before, but I just, I was not great with magnetics. They were really difficult for me and I just couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. But recently I did a video all about magnetics and you know, like my struggles with them and I got so many good tips and I started kind of playing with them more and I was like, okay, this actually isn't so bad. And then suddenly I just really wanted this. The marketing was just like, so cute it's so precious i don't even care about space i like i don't think space is all that interesting maybe that's blasphemous to say but i just like this eh, it's dark it's cold i don't i don't care the only thing i care about is that like pluto gets gets its comeuppance but like that's just like i feel like that's just a millennial thing we're all mad that pluto got taken away from us as a planet you know I should have a full swatch and review out on this collection already. So if you want to see more in-depth information on it, as well as my live swatches and like live magnetization, go check that out. But I will pop up the swatches here. And I am not ashamed to say I had to Google the order of the planets and Nick's polish will make fun of me because I had to Google it like a week ago because I just can't remember the order after the first four. We have Mercury, which is kind of like a charcoal blackish gray and it has hollow glitters kind of sparsely running throughout it. I think they all have some semblance of hollow glitter running through it. Uh, some it's like more predominant than others. We have Venus, which is like a reddishy orange hue, and this one's more metallic. And again, some of that hollow, I think I can kind of see it, but not as prominent in this one. Earth, which is a deep blue with kind of a greeny shimmer running through it. And we do see more hollow glitter running through that. I really like this one. I like blues a lot. This collection has three blues, so it's kind of targeting me. We have Mars, which of course is red. Uh, this is the, the red red of the collection. And this one does have a lot of hollow glitter running through it. This one, I probably mentioned it in my review, but I feel like it doesn't magnetize as strongly as the other ones, or it's just not as like obvious, but it still looks nice. Jupiter, which is kind of like a goldeny, it's almost a little bit touch of orange, I guess, but it's like more of a goldy yellow, I guess. And this is similar formula, I think, to Venus, more like metallic rather than having a ton of hollow glitter in it. Saturn, the purple, but it does have shimmer running through it that I can see is pulling green and pink and yellow and even blue on the outer edge. Really pretty. 
All right, guys, you got to tell me in the comments, do you pronounce it Uranus, which I think is the correct way, or do you say Uranus because we're all 14 year old boys at heart? Um, I definitely say Uranus, so that's what we're going to go with. And this is like an icy blue, and this one actually surprised me because this is the one that I did not care about. And this is one that I walked away loving the most because when you magnetize it, it looks almost neon. So that was really cool. I always love it when the one you don't care about is actually the one you like the most. And then Neptune, which is this really deep kind of indigo, I guess you could say. It's like I can see it both leaning blue and purple, but I'm not going to say the cursed word that it is. Um, and it also has that kind of similar shimmer running through it as this one. It's got, I can see like the green and the yellow and a little bit of the pink. And then that is the whole box set. And then you had to buy Pluto separately. And this is green and same, that shimmer that's running through the other two I just showed you. Pluto is really pretty. It's like such a beautiful green. And if you did buy the box set, you got like a magnet too, which is nice because, you know, these are magnetics. And then the last thing I bought on September 2nd, because we're still only on the first day, was um, Deco Miami was having a bit of a sale and... Pie from Lacquer Diary 3.14 over on Instagram was like, I want these. And I was like, I want those. And then she was like, let's buy one of the same sheets and do like a little real thing together. And so we both bought the farmer's market sheet, which is just like little like picnic and fruits and veggies and, and you know, cute stuff like that. And that's the one that I've used so far. These stickers are magnificent, like they are thin and malleable and small enough that they lay pretty flat on the nail. And I used a um, like a glitter grabber top coat and then a regular top coat and I couldn't feel the bumpiness. Whereas with a lot of stickers, even with both of those, you can still feel a little bit of the edges. So I definitely recommend these from my one use. I will be buying more. They were just so fun to do like a sticker bomb manicure. And aside from that one, I bought this one called Art Therapy, which just has kind of more abstract designs. And I really like these kind of designs. They're just, I don't know, like maybe I'm basic, but I just really like that kind of a clean art look. And then I bought this one, it's called Lula's and it felt very like, spring but also like a little bit nostalgic 90s kind of too it's got like these peeps we got aliens and like smiley faces and like peace signs there's even some like boba tea on there i like that it's just super cutesy so these are nice they are like 10 bucks per uh sticker sheet however you can also buy these on beyond polish and I have a code with Beyond Polish. It's mediocre. You can save 10% on your order. And not only that, but this, this sheet has 203 stickers. This one has 173. And this one doesn't say the number of stickers. It just says one sticker sheet. But you get a lot of stickers per sheet. I bombed every single finger, like all 10 fingers. And I still have so many left. So definitely worth it in my book. Okay, then the next day, the third, the new Holo Taco Dark Rainbow launched. I do have a video on this. I will put it up in the cards for you guys. I feel pretty good about this launch. I was pretty hyped up for it. They, I hadn't been hyped up for a Holo Taco launch in a while, but this one I felt particularly excited about. I did find a few like nitpicks here and there, and I had an issue that it seemed like a lot of people were having and then a lot of people weren't having so like 50 50 and that was um crimson void and dead petals just looking a little too similar on camera i do think they look very different well maybe not very different but they're different enough in the bottle uh but on the nail i had a really hard time discerning which one was which and so i was just kind of like eh, did i did we really need them both but ultimately i am happy with this collection and I mean, I was going to buy it no matter what, because that's just what I do, apparently. But I do have swatches of everything, so let me just run through them really quick. We have Crimson Void, Dead Petals, Burnt Bridges, Amber Apathy, which is this kind of like fun yellowy color, 
Lost in the Woods, which is like my favorite one. And now the song is stuck in my head again. And then we have Sunken Secrets, which is the blue and Violet Nightmares, which is the purple. After that, I was on a plane to Vegas. So I was like, all right, we got to be done. We're on vacation. Let's just chill. But there was a couple temptations while I was in Vegas because, you know, still getting emails and stuff. And, you know, Labor Day is a big, big sale weekend. And there were a lot, a lot of sales that I was kind of like, oh, maybe, oh, maybe. But then we got distracted and started doing other stuff. But there was just a few that really did stick with me that I didn't buy from, but I was tempted to. And there was Dimension Nails, which had like up to 60% off. There was a Loud Lacquer sale, which was 50% off. And that's, you know, that's pretty good. And then Plan to See Polish I, is a brand that I see on Instagram here and there. And I've been like, should I try it? I don't know. And they had a 25% off sale. And I just, you know, ultimately I was like, no, we're good. Like, go do other things. I don't know. Color Club also had a sale on the 6th and it was their 50% off anything sale. And this sale comes around so often. So I always say, just do it next time. Just do it next time. Because I am always tempted by one specific item that they have on there. And it's the big kit of 28 polishes. And it costs $100, which $100 for 28 polishes is already I don't know. I think that's pretty good. But on sale, 50% off. I mean, we can all do quick math here. That's 50 bucks. That comes down to less than $2 a polish. And it just gives me this like very nostalgic, like I'm the kid with the huge Crayola crayon box that has the sharpener in the back. Like that's the vibe I feel when I look at this, but it, it just, I, I know I don't need it. I feel like this would be such a good gift or a great deal for someone who's just getting into polish or who's really looking to expand their collection because this is mostly creams. There's like a couple like crazier like finishes, which I think they're just like metallics or something like that, but it's not anything too insane, but it would really expand your color collection and beginner. I am not like I have, <laughs> I have so much like, I'm about to show you so much more, but you know, I was just like, I don't need this. I, I just want it because it's going to like tickle that nostalgia center of my brain of the big Crayola crayon set. And maybe I should just buy the Crayola crayon set. And then maybe that would help me a little bit because that's going to be way cheaper than all these nail polishes. So I did not buy that, but then on the 7th, I won a little giveaway over on Instagram from Dimension Nails. So every year, Dimension Nails makes a special birthday polish. And you can't buy this throughout the year. You can only win it. And then I think if there's extras at the end of the year, she will sell them on her website. But, you know, there's no guarantee, I believe. And so every month at the beginning of the month, if your birthday falls in that month, there's a post and you can comment, you know, when your birthday is and then she'll pick uh, however many winners she picks. I'm not really sure how many. And then you win the birthday polish and I won. And so it is just called happy birthday, but it's just, this is a really fun, this is kind of like my tone of purple right here. And it's got glitters running through it and they are hollow and just, cute little fun polish. And I like this brand. I think it's nice. Um, I've only got, this will be the fourth polish that I have from them, but so far I like what I've tried. On the ninth, I had a couple of temptations. The first one being that Polish Pick started selling the China Glaze uh, coffee creams. I think it, the whole collection is called like, I don't give a sip or something like that, which cute name, love that. But it was literally just six creams as far as I know. I guess I didn't look too much into it. And I was like, well, I could just buy them for a review. And then I've seen people who they'll buy stuff for a review, do the review, and then, you know, de-stash at a discount. And to me, I'm like, that seems like a lot of work. I admire people who can actively go to the post office to ship things because I have this weird fear of the post office. Like, I just always think they're mad at me and I just feel like, scared to go into the post office. So like, that's just like a whole thing. I'm not going to be, you know, doing these dashes like that because it just seems overwhelming. And I just wasn't dying to have them. And so I knew I was like, can I just, yeah, they're cheap. Polish pick is really cheap, but I was like, you don't need it. It's just excess. And then I was just goofing around on Moonshine Manny's website 
And I realized that I have quite a lot of the polishes, well, not quite a lot, I have like a handful, like a good handful of polishes that she has done her project dupe it on. And I got it in my head, I was like, I should do a whole video where I just buy the ones that I have and do like live comparisons so that you guys can see. But then I was like, does anybody care about that? Does Phoebe Moon do those herself? I don't even know. So if that's like a video you'd be interested in, like a concept you're interested in, let me know. But I don't know, I'm kind of toying with the idea. On September 10th, I ordered something that will not be here until like November or December. And that is the first of probably many advent calendars I want to purchase. I got the Caloristic Carol advent calendar. I'm going to unbox it in December. And I'm looking for other full-size advent calendars as well. I'm sick of doing the mini ones because minis are they're annoying. I don't know. Um, but I did get the 12 piece advent calendar because they had a 12 and a 6. And so look forward to that. On the 11th, Janixa from Nail Lacquer Therapy posted that OPIs were like insanely discounted over on Ulta's website. And because I had a $10 birthday coupon to Ulta, I was like, eh, I might as well. And so I haven't been like a big OPI person for many, many years, but I haven't tried them in many, many years. So I figured I would give them another go because they were really cheap. Plus I had the coupon. And then I got a few others too, because I'm me. Well, Ulta does this really fun thing where they throw all the polishes all loosey goosey in a bubble mailer. And then with just a little bit of a wish and a prayer, they send it to you and they go, man, I hope it doesn't break in transit. And guess what it does in transit? It breaks. And um, it looks like a baby pooped all over your nail polish. So that's what I got when I, uh, I, I literally got to my front door and I saw the package sitting there and I was like, I smell nail polish. So that can't be good. Like I'm standing up above my full, almost six feet tall body. And I'm like, mm, I can smell that package from all the way up here. So, you know, it's not gonna be great. And it wasn't, it looked so nasty. <laughs> and I did the petty thing where I just posted on social media and added them. And like, I was like, oh, Ulta, isn't this how you pack in your stuff? Because I was being petty that day. And they got back to me in like 0.2 seconds. And they were like, sorry, we can't replace your stuff. And then I was like, because I wanted, the one that broke is the one I wanted the most. It was OPI's Ochre the Moon or Ochre to the Moon or something like that. And she's like, well, I'll just refund you. And I was like, the polish cost me like $1.70. I literally don't care. I'm just annoyed. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, do whatever you want. And then she refunded me my entire order cost. So these were actually free. So I'm no longer as mad, but I'm still mad just a little bit. Especially because they also, they messed up something else too. So I ordered this one called uh, Clean Slate. And I also ordered Susie Talks With Her Hands. And instead of Clean Slate, they sent me just two Susie Talks With Her Hands. So I'm going to set one aside into like a giveaway pile for the future. And um, this one it still has the nail polish on it. But yeah, I got Susie Talks With Her Hands. Times two. Mural Mural on the Wall, which is like this... It had like flakies in it and I was like, oh, that's unusual for a, a mainstream to do something like that. So I wanted to try that. I got this one called Clay Dreaming, which is like a really toned down, chill, more neutral color, but it's really pretty. I really liked this one. Uh, as soon as I got it, I was like, yeah, that's, that's a vibe. I like that, especially for like kind of muted fall colors. Like I like this uh, brown to earth, which is in fact a brown. And then I got two from the weird Xbox collection that they did, uh, Trading Paint and Susie is my avatar. And they're just kind of like spring pastels. They were pastels for the spring, so that's what they are. And then um, because they were so cheap, I added the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Peeps. Why, why did I hold it like this? Like, this is so aggressive. Um, oh no, the sticker is coming off. Okay, I fixed it. Uh, <laughs> they have literally just the Peeps logo and there's other colors in this collection, but to me, the only Peeps that are important are in this order, the yellow Peep, the pink Peep, and then if all else fails, the blue Peep, because the color of the Peep matters when you eat it. They all taste the same, but no, they don't. Okay. The, the yellow ones are the best 
followed by the pink and then blue if you're in a pinch. All right, like and share if you agree. So yeah, all those Ulta ones, it, it cost me like 17 bucks for all of them, but then they refunded them, so now they're free. Okay, then a subscriber reached out to me and asked me if, because they were getting rid of some of their toppers, they were like, do you want these? Like, I don't really have any use for them and you seem to like this kind of stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure. And so I just expected a couple toppers in the mail, like nothing too crazy. And then I get this super heavy package and I was like, what? No, you said it was a couple toppers. <laughs> what did you do? So she sent me a very generous, very sweet gift. So thank you. I didn't ask the subscriber if I could thank them by name. So you know who you are, but I really do appreciate that you sent me this. It was so kind. So first it was three of the China Glaze toppers. There's Cackle If You Want, Ghostess with the Mostess, and Something's Brewing. And these are all like perfect perfect Halloween toppers. I'm assuming they're probably from a Halloween collection. And then some Deborah Lippmann's, which I was like, girl, please, like, you did not have to do that. These are not a cheap nail polish. Um, and we have, they're all named after lyrics, I believe, is, is kind of Deborah Lippmann's thing. They have Good Girl Gone Bad, which is this finer purple glitter. We have Let's Go Crazy, which is like a purple jelly base with a variety of hex glitters in it. Bad Romance, which is a black jelly base with just purple glitters in it, I believe. And then Cleopatra in New York, which this is the only song that I can't place out of all of them. But this is a, another black jelly base with these kind of goldy green glitters running through it. Now, I, I hauled some Deborah Littman's that I got at like a Marshalls or something a couple months ago. And I was like, oh, these suck. These are completely in a different realm. Like these actually are opaque on the nail. So I don't know what was up with the two that I bought. It must've been the formula, but these ones are really nice. And I especially like this finer glitter one, the Good Girl Gone Bad, cause it has like kind of a green shimmer in there as well. Just really fun. And I really appreciate that, but that's not all. So then she added in these three guys right here, we have Revlon's Holographic Pearls, which is a like scattered hollow topper, but it is pretty dense. Like that's kind of how I like a scattered hollow topper to be. I don't like a super sparse topper and I don't have anything as dense as this where you can still see the color pulling through from beneath it. So I was really excited for that. We have a G Gal Australia and this one is called shade shifter i think or maybe it's called last light i'm not sure i don't know much about this brand i have a couple that i got from somebody's like d stash that it was like a mystery d stash i don't know anything about it where you can get it i'm assuming australia but that could be totally off base but it's a super shimmery kind of shifty polish and then this one is from a brand called joss which another like i've never heard of this brand and it's called Tantastic Glow. And it's kind of a antique like pale gold type of topper. And just really excited to test all these out. She also sent me a couple of nail art brushes, which are really nice. And I got some water slide decals as well that are like kind of like smokier designs, which I really like to do these types of water slides over like a white or a lighter color. They just look like you've done so much effort when in reality, it's just a water slide decal, super easy to use. And then there was this like nail aid stuff, which I've never used, but I would like to check it out and test it. It says it makes your nails as hard as sapphires. So I don't have a sapphire to test it against, but I thought that was kind of a funny claim. And then I won't go through all of these with you guys, but she sent me like a mad stack of stamping plates. So like once again to that subscriber uh, and follower over on Instagram, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It blew me away. Um, and I'm excited to start playing around with some of this stuff. Okay, when I got back from vacation and I saw that giant pile of packages and I unboxed everything, I realized I am running out of space. Uh, 
my helmers I have four but three of them were dedicated to polish whereas the fourth one was like stamping plates and nail art and just stuff for your nails um but I ran out of space in the first three so now I was like do I buy a fifth helmer and figure out where to put that or what do I do and so I ended up thinking like oh I'll buy this cute little can you guys see it this is a little rack right here it's like a set of drawers and um, I got that at Michael's and it was like 30 bucks and I would say don't buy that like it's just not that great you know it arrived cracked and when I emailed Michael's customer service they're like yeah you have to call in a store and see if they're willing to swap out the one drawer that's cracked and I'm like that sounds like a hassle I still might do it but I don't know but that's gonna house all my nail stuff until I can I don't know I, it'll probably just stay like that because I just don't care enough to figure that out but now all four of my helmers are dedicated nail polish containers all right on the 17th I made a choice and I bought this because I feel like most people knew that I was gonna buy this um I just couldn't resist it's Pat McGrath who is a makeup company slash Pat McGrath herself people refer to her as mother because she's like a like supreme makeup artist type person um, she has a really big reputation in the makeup world and supreme has a really big reputation in the hype beast world and I gotta say I love hype beast nonsense it's so dumb I love it it's just so wild that it exists supreme is just a crazy brand and if you don't know, like Supreme's model is like they, they do drops every season or so of just clothes and sometimes household items. And they've done a couple of, they did a lipstick with Pat McGrath before and now they've done nail polish. And the thing about Supreme is the resale value is typically, not always, but typically quite high because this stuff sells out really fast. And then people who couldn't get their hands on it really want it and so they're willing to pay like top dollar I'm probably not going to resell these but that's what I'm telling myself to justify this purchase uh what this is is it's Pat McGrath and Supreme's first foray into nail polish and let's hope I, I immediately dropped these when I did this the first time um it's three nail polishes they are plain creams they did come out to be about $33 a piece because the whole box was almost a hundred that was a choice that I made and you know what they were so kind they threw in this free little bumpery sticker guy so you know that was nice of them but it's literally just three plain colored polishes they are literally named supreme white supreme red and guess what supreme black like they got really creative with it and on top of the three on top of the three polishes that you spent way too much money on you also got nail stickers for ants these are like the tiniest little baby boo nail stickers i love it i'm not mad about this purchase i know i'm like being kind of like sarcastic about it but i am just making fun of myself ultimately because i want this and i wanted this and i still want this like i'm glad i bought this do i sound like i'm being defensive maybe i am but i know a lot of you guys are gonna be like hillary that was so stupid and you're dumb for it and i am and you can tell me that but i have it and now i'm happy okay then on the 18th i gotta look at my list here I made a second purchase at Cleona Cosmetics. This is not even the whole first purchase I made. I made this one back in August, but it came in in September. This is their 12 piece. I think it's like their nostalgia collection or something like that. And it's all mostly creams, except for there's like this glitter topper. And I had also ordered their dragon fruit lacquers. And I'm going to do an entire dedicated review on this brand and just everything that I have from them now because they've been making polish for, 
uh, either a year or less than a year. The first ones that came out were the dragon fruit ones, and it was just a two-piece drop uh, along with some of their other cosmetics. And then they recently came out with their bigger collection. And then um, they joined Polish Pickup, which I told you earlier I got that. And then this guy right here, I don't want to... I don't want to spoil it because it came in a mystery bundle because um, I finally caved and bought eyeshadows from them, which they're like multi-chrome eyeshadows look amazing. But there was a multi-chrome eyeshadow bundle, like a mystery bundle you could buy that came with a nail polish that this is the only way you could get it. And so, you know me, I got it. And I will uh, show it to you guys when I do the full brand review and I will like put up a warning so that you guys don't get spoiled if that's something you're interested in. But it is in their similar formula to the, to the dragon fruit ones. It's not just like a plain cream or anything and it is beautiful. Then that evening I was browsing Instagram and I saw Swamp Gloss was like, this is your last chance for our X-Files mystery pre-order. And I was like, you're what, excuse me? because um, I'm obsessed with the X-Files. It's kind of like, it's just like really, it's important to me, which sounds, I don't know, I feel dumb saying a show is important to me, but like the X-Files is really important to me because I have a lot of good memories of watching it with my dad. And I have an X-Files tattoo on my leg and I rewatch the show constantly, just, I love it. And you know, Agent Scully is, she has my whole heart and then some. And they had mysteries over at Swamp Gloss. And now I have some polishes from Swamp Gloss and I really like them, but I have never ever in my life bought like a mystery from a brand. I've bought mystery boxes from like D stashers and stuff, but there's something about buying like a mystery from a brand that makes me nervous. <laughs> I've never done it. Like BKL always releases mysteries and I'm like, no, no. Or I look at the spoilers because I don't want to, I just don't want to buy a mysterious thing. But I just did. I, I bought all three of the mysteries. Like I just like, I'm an X-Files fanatic. So I bought them. They actually, I got tracking today. So if before this video goes up, I end up getting them in the mail, I will insert shots here and I will put up a warning. And no, actually, I don't think you can get them anymore. So yeah, I'll just insert the shots. Um, but I don't think that I will get them before this goes up, but I'll show them off on my Instagram or something. All right, we're almost done. I swear three more days. Um, September 19th, What's Up Nails started selling the Cadillacer Advent calendars. And this is another full size advent that I had wanted to try last year. But like last year, I was really not aware of the schedule of how these advent calendars got released because I'd never bought one from an indie brand before. And they go live, like the pre-orders go live a lot earlier than I expected. I've already seen two or three going live in September. And by the time I started even thinking about advent calendars, it's like November, it's too late. So I kept my eyes peeled this year and the Cadillac one went on presale and they have a 12 piece and they have a 24 piece. And while I was tempted by the 24 piece, oh man, these are, they're not cheap. These big boys are over a hundred dollars. I think, I think the 24 piece was like, close to $300, but I can't remember because I remember I just saw the price and I was like, yeah, let's do the smaller one. Let's just do the smaller one. But they are full size bottles and I believe the polishes are exclusive to the advent calendar. So that's fun. And I think it's worth the price, especially like either as a gift to somebody who is just super into nail polish or a little gift to yourself because you're super into nail polish. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm going to unbox that one on my channel as well. And then I received um, a little bit of PR from Moxie and this is kind of like an honor. They've been open for about a year now. And the, uh, the founder of Moxie told me like, oh, you were one of the first swatchers. And so she sent me my choice of a bunch of polishes from her website. And so I just made a little list and I was like, here is my list of polishes that I like. Just pick whatever and, you know, send it to me because, you know, I I have a hard time narrowing it down. And so I was like, you pick for me. And then she sent me everything on my list and I was like, thanks. Um, so I'm going to be doing kind of a, a year later video on Moxie because I did do an initial brand review and they've 
come a long way, they've made some changes, or they've enacted some of the programs that they said they were gonna. And so I'm really excited to talk to you guys about that. So I'm going to be swatching these as well in that video because I did get a variety of finishes and not so much a variety of colors. I got four purples because I'm psycho. I really wanna show this brand to you guys because I really do like their stuff. And I think it was really cool to watch them just how, how far they've come just in the past year. So look forward to that video as well. Then on September 20th, Kelly Marissa's Orly collab, which I'm sure everybody's seen at this point. Uh, I got early access to it because of um, being a Color Pass subscriber. And you know, it's a six piece collection. You've got three jellies and three toppers. I'm going to do a review of this. So don't worry, it should be coming soon. I just have so many reviews I wanna do this month and so little time. Um, but I don't know. I, I own her other two collabs. This is super cute. I loved the little tarot card and I like jellies and I like the toppers. So, you know, I had to have it. Okay. Lastly, lastly, and then we're done. I swear we're done. I'm tired. I have a headache. Let's be done. I, all I can smell is nail polish right now. The last thing was Chills Thrills Beauty. Send me a picture of these little keychain guys that you can get at Target at like the dollar spot. And I was like, I need the frog one. So I immediately after work drove to my Target and they had all the variations except the frog one. I think somebody either bought all the frog ones or maybe they just didn't get any in their shipment. And I sent her a picture and I was like, somebody took all the frogs. And she's like, I'll send you a couple. And I was like, thank you. So she sent me two of these guys and I gave one to my boyfriend and one for me so we can be all matchy matchy. But then she surprised me with like some other stuff in the package and I was so shocked. So first of all, I got the little card. It says happy Halloween and all that chic, which I thought was cute. And then just some fall polishes. She sent me this one called Nail Soup from Fair Maiden, which first of all, this color is everything, but also I love the name because I am that soup girl, all right? I love soup. I am a soup fanatic, okay? So color, name, perfect. This is from Lollipop Posse Lacquer. I don't know anything about this brand. I've actually never heard of it, I don't think. If I have, I don't remember hearing about it because a lot of times I say, I haven't heard of this brand. And then people are like, Hillary, it's on Polish Pickup and you've said their name a million times. And I'm like, yeah, well, I didn't hear myself say that. So I don't know. This one's called the Alchemical Child and it is like a multi-chrome. We have two from Glam Polish that are both like purple glitters, but in different tones of purple. We have friends on the other side, and this is like a lighter, brighter purple. And then this is a deep kind of purple and blue, maybe almost indigo, I don't know. But it's it won't cost much, just your voice, which I'm assuming is like a little mermaid polish. And then this one I was super excited about because it's a Quixotic polish, and it's called Keep Your Eye on the Fall. I believe Quixotic Polish is not making polish anymore or right now, or they're on a break or something. And I have made it my goal to have polishes from brands from every letter of the alphabet, A through Z. And this is the only brand I know of that starts with a Q. And so now I finally have a Q brand nail polish. I think now I'm just missing, I'm missing one more. Yeah, I don't think I have a brand that starts with a Y. Is that right? Do I really not? Let me know if you know of any brands that start with a Y. You know, we'll, we'll get this figured out. Okay, so yeah, that was probably everything, I think. And I'm still waiting on stuff to come in, isn't it? Isn't that insane? So yeah, it is 9-28, September 28th, as I film this. We're not buying anything today or tomorrow or the next day. I can't make any promises for the day after that because my budget resets on the first of every month. So what can you do? But no, I am definitely going into austerity mode in October. Um, I don't know if there's even any releases that I'm super like looking forward to. The only things I can think of are I, there's a Spock polish on Polish Pickup that I have to have. So I'll be getting that probably and maybe one other, try to keep it to two this month. And then 
Does the ho is it Hollow Taco's birthday launch this month, October, or is it in November? I don't remember. I'm not that I, I I don't remember people's birthdays. I'm not that big of a stand, so I I don't know when her birthday is. I'm sorry, um, but I'll probably pick that up as well. So yeah, um, let me know what your thoughts were on my stupid haul, and let me know what you guys picked up. And let me know, like, if there's anything in particular you really want to see videos on or anything like that. I do try to take everybody's feedback into account about, like, video types and stuff like that. I mean, I can't do everybody's videos, but I do like to hear your guys', like, wants as far as videos go because that really helps me put out content you guys want to see. So if there's any, like, brands here that you, in particular, really want to see a video on, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!